Right, what's happening, people? Here we are. Episode three, Chris. We've made it. We've made it this far, Sean. Flipping it. Right, what are we drinking tonight? I am on Jack Daniels and Coke. Um, only a small one today because I don't want to get too... I'm going to turn my phone off quickly. Um, I don't want to get too warm too quick. But I think you're, you're a couple deep, aren't you? Are you on the Thatchers? Yeah, it looks like you've got dressed like Hammond. Are you all right? What's that? <laughs> like some off. I just... I just thought, you know, keep up the theme from last week and uh, do you like the shirt? It's gone big at the minute on Netflix. You know, Tiger King, you look like you look strong for it. Anyway, right, we've got 45 seconds to before we're bringing the guys on. Um, do you want to explain a couple of things that we might have tweaked, changed? Yeah, so this week we have changed the quiz a little bit. Um, we're going to make it a little bit more um, interactive with the guys that are playing uh, with Twan and Martijn. Um, but we've changed the round. So the first round will be a picture round. Second round will be general knowledge and Olympics. Third round will be videos. And then the fourth round will be World Cups and World Champs. So, yeah, we've changed it a little bit. Looking forward to this one. Yeah. Right. Ten seconds to go. So let's get them on. Let's bring them on and let's go for it. So here we go then. Over to you, Chris. Evening, boys. How are we doing? Good. And you? Yeah, really good. well. Good. Everything good here. Good stuff, good stuff. First of all, before we start, we've got to mention Martin that video of you getting excited when Tuan won the Worlds. Mate, what was going what was going on there? Yeah, I know Tuan and how he rides the ball sometimes. So uh, and this time he hadn't go uh, had to go uh, to the one hundred percent because there was no one behind him. So I was really yelling, Okay, calm down, calm down. But hey, eventually it happened, so it's all good. I can literally hear you screaming that same one word. I like that's got to be like chill, chill, chill. Yeah, yeah. Rustig. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, guys, so we'll give you a little bit of brief before we come online. So before we get started, just gonna throw a couple of questions at you for the from the fans and stuff. So, Twan, obviously I see on your Instagram the other day that you've just come back after 16 weeks out of surgery. Um, what was your injury and and how did you do it? Yeah, uh, I, uh, last week was the first time back on the bike after 16 weeks, and uh, my injury was uh, a dislocated scaphoid. So I tore in three uh, three ligaments in the in here. Um, you can still see the, the scar a little. Bit. Uh, I think the damage is too bad, but I did it with uh, with the power cleans. Uh, I was uh, doing like yeah maximum power cleans 155, and uh, yeah. You're gonna make it, obviously. Wow. And is it how's it feeling now? Is it feeling better? It's going a lot better than it was because in the beginning I couldn't couldn't even make a fist or anything. Um, so 16 weeks of rehab already, and now I have 30 degrees to the inside, um, a little more to the backside, and yeah, the strength is like 30 kilos versus 55 on the left. We're getting there slowly. So, slowly. Yeah, slowly getting there. I was going to say, you're quite lucky because of this uh, coronavirus. You're the only world champion that's going to retain their title without having to race. You must be buzzing with that. <laughs> well, if everyone stays healthy at home here and uh, with all the guys, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, well, lucky. Uh, I ran a race. <laughs> Martin, obviously you've had your own fair share of injuries as an athlete. Um, do you think this has helped you work with Tuan through this this period? And it's, aside from kind of the day-to-day -day track stuff, what's changed in kind of your schedule? I guess probably lockdowns helped, hasn't it? Uh, yes, I'm sure. Yeah, sure. Because no normally we would have been uh, in a full season right uh, right now of races. But I didn't really have to help Tuan. Tuan has had a lot of injuries already. So... So he, uh, he know how to deal, deal with that. Uh, last year when we started working together, uh, he also came out of an injury for uh, of almost a half year. So uh, you see what happened in the end. So it's all, it's all fine. We're, when the racing will be back, uh, we will be ready. And that's the main, uh, that's the most important thing what, for now. And yeah, because of the races didn't happen. Um, in the beginning, we said like, okay, Everything is on recovery, uh, so the wrist has to be healed. And we're riding wise, we're going to 90 95% now, so he can go back to, the, to his BS, BMX bike. And uh, so we can build the training uh, back up. And we're coming out of lockdown, so he's right in time 
to come on the group and get started. He's literally timed it to perfection. But before, yeah. we come, before we come online, Martin, Tuan did say that this week in particular, you set him more training so he doesn't have time to study for the quiz. Is that right? Yeah, I can't lose from him. So he said, like, OK, Monday we're starting practice. <laughs> so and he's always like when he's off, he's working at his house, at his girlfriend's house. He's doing everything. So I de definitely put the date on this weekend. So he didn't have time to watch all the Wikipedia and everything. <laughs> so... I, I, I can't lose from him. Oh, good stuff. Well, look, um, you two, I hope you do better than the Dutch sisters last week. Um, I'm counting on you. Liam's retained the title two weeks on the trot, so um, hopefully you two can give him a bit more of a, a challenge this week, yeah? Yeah, the pressure is on. Pressure is on. Liam is uh, full-time studying now these, these days, I think. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> yeah. There's not, there's not, like, I'm not even going to, well, so I'm not going to deny it. I'm not, but at the same time, I might as well be. Hey, we had a bit, I'm just thinking though, my time, we had a bit of a rough, we had a bit of a rough ride, didn't we, in Australia? Because just a bit further to that, Chris, we, we were all, uh, all in Australia prior to the World Cup and we were all training together. Like I, me and Matine had caught up last summer and we decided to try and do some stuff together. And within the space of a week, we just had, yeah, both both uh, programs sort of decimated. It was pretty, uh, yeah, it was pretty grim. We had a big crash on the Tuesday where one of um, one of my riders ended up going to the hospital and needed Matine's help like big time with that. And then within a few days, turned up at the track on the Saturday and Matine broke the news that Twan had been injured. And it was like Jesus, like we just get into sort of that final part of going to a race again. Yeah, uh, it's pretty rough, on that. Yeah, it was the last last week. We we were doing the final session in Brisbane to head to uh, down south to the to the races, and uh, yeah, then it happened with Tuan. And then after the races as well, uh, two of our guys uh, injured themselves as well. Uh, one surgery on the on the on the collarbone in Australia. So from the nine riders we went into Australia, we came back with six healthy. So. Uh, not not the odds you want. For sure. No, and then and then we went then we went to Manchester and then the next guy Elias broke his femur. So that was the fourth guy uh, from nine. But then at that time Mitchell was already back on his bike. So yeah, so we remain at six. Jesus. Yeah. Crazy times. Well, listen, thankfully, during lockdown, we've had no more riders getting injured because no one's been on the bike. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's, it, it can you never know. Everywhere. There's always a gym. <laughs> yeah. Well, John, we, we know that because Liam injured himself in the lake. Did he, Did you hear about what Liam did in the lake? No. Nah. What do you do? Oh, hey, oh, stupid. I, w I went for a run. Like, why? why? Why did I go for a run? Stupid. And it was, and it was really hot. And basically, I went out thinking I was way faster than I was, got really hot, and then decided to jump in the lake. And I, I, I must have like stood on some glass or something, but just sliced my foot. And uh, it just wouldn't stop bleeding. And I needed to go to the hospital to get it stitched up. So, yeah. <laughs> Nightmare. <laughs> and I actually thought, I thought my days of, uh, yeah, I thought my days of staring at the scene in the hospital were over. Yeah, you should you should ask Tuan about his preparation for all the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> what preparation? Coming over yeah. here every time. I was going to say, say mate, don't, don't talk to me about that. I broke my collarbone oh, ten both. weeks and eight weeks before. I I know about that, but you know, I don't know if anybody knows this. Do you know that Kev, um, Kyle was doing? So me and Kyle crashed together, and he hurt his wrist, and then he he was doing sprints on the watt bike. He clipped out, hit his front foot into the fan. The pedal then come round and chopped uh, his Achilles. Aye. And then he and the it needed stitching, but they couldn't stitch it without putting him to sleep. So, so he had to go under a general anaesthetic to get it stitched. So, yeah. Ask Tuan, Tuan, how was your 2012 preparation? Well, uh, it started. With Papandal, when I crashed with Quinton, and uh, in the final at Papandal, <clears throat> I didn't want to admit my shoulder 
like really like it hurt really bad, but I didn't want to admit something was really bad with it. So uh, and <clears throat> we needed the points for Colombia to stay in the top five, I think, to, to send three riders to the Olympics. So I was running Birmingham uh, and ending up going out in one eight final. After that, um, went to the hospital and then had a yeah, it's like a tuberculosis my fracture. So like the, the tendon of my bicep pulled out a piece of bone in my shoulder and the tendon this guy like torn for 50 percent <clears throat> and then i got uh surgery 10 weeks before the olympics and well rehab was though it was going really well and then four weeks before the olympics i was ending up doing single leg box jumps with my hand in a in a in a sling and and i hit my hand to the wooden box and then just shattered one of my um yeah the bones in there and then i got surgery uh i think it was four weeks literally a month before the olympics started so the stitches were out and i was heading to uh, towards london not good. Not good. <laughs> Liam, you haven't had much luck in the lead up either, have you? I've got to tell you what, between you two, you can probably yeah hold a list of injuries in the Olympics. Right, boys, listen, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna move forward because I'm just conscious of time, okay? So yes. the first round is a new round. Um so I'm just gonna explain to you how this round is gonna work. So basically we're going to show you a picture and then uh, we'll come back. We'll show you five pictures in all and then we'll, uh, well, that's 10, but we'll show you five. <laughs> and then we'll, you write down your answers and then we'll come back to them. So just to start, we're going to go to Twan. Twan, we're going to show you a photo. Can you tell us who this person is? This is just a practice run. No clue. <laughs> Twan, that's really no clue. No? Yes, yeah, that's my girlfriend these days. Hey! <laughs> and uh, can, Twan, can I just just quick 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 question? Because this is quite a popular one. Can you put the photo back on, Sean? It's quite a popular photo on Instagram, and a lot of people have asked me, did she make you take the hat off? Because she's holding your hat. That's a good question, actually. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think so. I, I think she's having um, holding a Shimano hat. Ah, uh, okay. It's not. It's not yours. I one. We we went. We we filled the Shimano Shimano stand there, and we got some goodies with a yeah, and also a cap. So it wasn't my cap. <laughs> Me and Sean said, I can't believe that she's made him take his hat off for a photo. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and probably he's being sacked now by Red Bull because he's not wearing a Red Bull cap on the media. <laughs> Oh, he's got one there. He's got one there. Right, we're gonna we're gonna go straight into it then, boys. Um, so, first picture coming up, Sean. Let's fire in the first picture. So, the question is: Don't read it out. Write it down. First question: What is a supercross track that the riders are locked into the gate on? What is that track? Can you all see it all right Sorry, yeah? Chris, can you repeat? What's yeah, so name? what is the supercross track that the riders are locked into the gate on? So what is the track? Can you all see the image okay, yeah? Yeah. Quite an easy first one. Yep. Liam, is it right from your side, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Now it's just that you keep you keep free. I don't I'm not sure if you was frozen then or it was um you just concentrating. So question one, what is the supercross track that the riders are locked into the gate on? We'll go with picture number two now. What bike is Anthony Dean riding? Sean, that's much better cutting me out of that picture, mate. Yeah, and no one wants to see that shirt. That's what I thought. I thought they would like the shirt. Oh, well, you, you're getting a lot of stick on there. Yeah, nothing unusual, nothing unusual. So question two, what is the bike that Anthony Dean is riding? Tuan, you're not struggling already, are you? No, I was looking at what the year it is. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
You can see, Mate, if you look at the plane, you can see it. Dean knows been through more bike sponsors in the last few years than most, so. <laughs> yeah. Every time he goes to the shopping center, he gets a new bike. <laughs> <laughs> That would be a good question. How many bikes did Dino have and what brand? <laughs> for, for 20 points. <laughs> next question. Moving on to the next image. Number three. What number is blanked out in this picture? Oh. What plate number is blanked out in this picture? At least I know one answer. <laughs> Yeah, my time. This wasn't in uh, BMX history, right? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so, what number is blanked out in this picture, Martin? You're just—he's playing with us. You definitely know that one. It's not. Yeah, this one. one. This one, at least I know. The others, I'm not real sure about. <laughs> yeah, he, he knows because he checked the. Um, the fastest starts in practice uh, so many times that that guy has been pretty high up now, I reckon. Yeah, true. Okay, yeah, we'll, one certain we'll, track. We'll jump on to question four now, the next picture. Which rider is this? Which rider is this? couple of little sneaky giveaways there you can see um that i'm in between the sleeves and the gloves the brand on the helmet and how the face is cut out yeah <laughs> <laughs> why the long face okay you all good with that one yep. yeah question five yeah picture five sorry which rider is getting squirted on Which rider is getting squirted on? Yes. Oh, he's confident. I think so. Yeah, same here. Okay, boys, you happy with that? Yep. Okay, so. let's go to the answers then. So, first one, what is the supercar track that the riders are locked into the gate? We'll go to the champ first, Twan. Rock Hill. Yeah, pretty easy one to get you started. So, Rock Hill is the correct answer for question one. Picture number two, what bike is Anthony Dean riding? We'll go to you, Martin, for this one. I'm not really sure. I think Supercross? No, it's not. It's not. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we'll, yeah, go in, mate. We'll go to <laughs> Liquor. <laughs> what did you say? Formula. Uh, yeah. Do you want Liam to say again? Yeah, Formula. Did formula. you say Formula, Liam? Yeah, yeah that's right. Formula. Yeah. Good stuff. So, Formula is the answer. Picture number three. Sorry, I'm sorry, Sean. I know I'm going a bit fast. I'll slow down because you've got to load these pictures up. Picture number three. What number is blanked out in this picture? Um, we'll go back to Martin. Hopefully, you can get one right this one. Go on, Martin. Five nine five. Yes, five nine five. No doubt about that one. So five nine five. That's the correct answer. Picture number four. I didn't even mean to say the little pun that I put in there. And as soon as I said it, I was like, oh, shit. Why did I say that? So we're going to go to you, Tuan. Which rider is this? Nick. Nick Long. Yeah, Nick Long. Why the long face? Why did I say that? I don't know. But yeah, Nick Long. As soon as I said it, I was like, shit. Why did I say that? So yeah, Nick Long. And then this one's, I think this one's probably the most difficult one. Um, yeah. Yeah. Liam with this one. So, which rider is getting squirted on the podium? Uh, Felicia. So, yeah, easy, easy for Liam. Felicia stands. Yep. 
Did you? How, what did you have for that one, Twan? Did you have Felicia? I got Felicia as well. And Martin? Yes. Martin. Stan Saul. Perfect. Cool. Okay, tally up the scores. Nice, easy first round to um, to get you started. I like already, that round. already in last place. You like that one, Liam? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was good. Yeah, it was I good. can imagine the people at home could play along with that one quite well. No, definitely. What? What? So, give me your scores, Liam. Five. He's like, how dare you even ask me? No, no. <laughs> no, nah, Twan got five too. <laughs> Twan? Five. Five. And what um, time? I'm up there with the champ. Four. <laughs> yeah, you guys all shot at me, as usual. <laughs> before we move on, I'm just going um, just gonna jump in and ask Twan a quick question um, before we move to the next round. Twan, what's it been like rocking the rainbow stripes? I know, obviously, you've been out for 16 weeks, but apart that aside... Um, you know, you must be pumped, like I said, because you're the first world champ to retain it without having to, to actually race. But what's it actually been like rocking them stripes? Well, like the second part of uh, last year's season, we had some races, some World Cups. And, uh, well, it, it felt really, really good to put on the rainbow stripes and just show up every, every race. And Yeah, it's, when you're on the gate, the speaker uh, yeah, shouts your world champ. And, uh, those, those things are uh, they're helping me out. And um, Liam said before we come on air, he thought he was going to be wearing it tonight. What happened? Nah. I saw Evans and I saw I'm sitting here with Brit, so hey. Rocking it. Rocking the GB shirt. Rocking, the, rocking the GB shirt. Winning all the Great Britain fans at home, aren't you? You're like, look at me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, good stuff. Good stuff. We're going to move on now to round number two. General knowledge and Olympics. So, start off nice and easy again for you guys, okay? So, question number one is, whose career, so this is in the male category, whose career number is 593? Mind blank, Liam, yeah? Is that a male? Yeah, male category, yeah. Career number 593. You should know him. Yeah, that's quite a... Like, Don't a, help him, Twan. He already yeah, Twan. makes a lot of points. He, he can't win tonight. Come on, we have to work together. <laughs> Martin, he'll, he'll regret that later in, in the evening, wouldn't he? But like, why did I help him? This is how I stand, like, the whole season. Like, Twan, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's going to take some thinking. Yeah, Don't know. Take I'm going to come back to that, Liam. So, career number 593, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll try and get it by the end. Next question, number two. Which two girls, which two girls narrowly missed out on the 2016 Olympic final, finishing fifth in their semis? Is that a point for each? Two points up for grabs in this one, yeah. So which two girls narrowly missed out on the 2016 Olympic final, finishing fifth in their semis? I know one. I was, I, I was on the gate. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no clue. I, I remember both of my girls made it, so... <laughs> I'll give you a bit of time if you want to try and unpick it. Uh, I, I, I think I have it. <clears throat> Twan, you, you not, you're not feeling confident with this one, no? No, I was just guessing. Liam, how do you find that? You, you, you're pretty confident with that one? She, she still made it, right? Two girls still made it. No, no don't. Last summer. Oh, it didn't. No, fifth, fifth in the semi, so don't make yeah. it to the final. The two girls that finished fifth in the semis, Twan, is what the answer we're looking for. Sorry, Liam, I didn't hear what you said. Are you feeling confident with that one? Uh, I've got one. I know one, but I don't know the other. So I'll have to guess. Okay, we'll, we'll move on. Question number three. 
if Martin and Tuan, if you get this one wrong, you're going to get disowned by your country. No pressure. How many male Dutch riders have made an Olympic final? Jesus Christ. How many male Dutch riders, sorry, have made a BMX Olympic final, yeah? The BMX Olympic final. Uh, otherwise, it was like a trick question. No, 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 yeah, BMX. So how many, how many Dutchies have made the Olympic final across all of the Olympics? Yes. And Liam, you've got no excuse. I need to write this down. Liam, now. you've been at all three Olympics, so you've got no excuse. Yeah, you've been there. I didn't get very far in the first one. <laughs> so you had a plenty of time to watch the final. And I didn't get very far in the last one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you, you had plenty of time. Uh, I'm going to give you a minute, and I'm just going to grab a little top up, boys. All right. You're confident on that, aren't you? Do you get, get extra points for, for the names? The name or? <laughs> yeah, put the names good. down as well. I was, I was going to give you extra points for that, but with the last two quizzes, there have been too many points, so sorry, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, too bad. And I can even name the places if you want. <laughs> yeah, same here. Yeah, I couldn't name the places, but I can name the people, I think. It's actually Rio that I'm a little bit. <sighs> Where's he gone? Yeah. I, um, I'm struggling. The, uh, the missus has stolen my uh, mixer. I was a bit of beer now. So... You all happy with that? We move on? Yep. Yeah, good. Question number four. <clears throat> In the female category, whose career number is 911? <laughs> Twan's got his hand in his head. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it, with um, the career numbers? Like, when you, when you know them, like, they just come, like, straight away. Do you think it's easier if I was to tell you, like, I'm not, obviously I'm not, do you think it's easier if you can know yeah. the person and then you can relate the number the other way around? Yeah, because yeah. there are a lot of numbers. It depends on what details you check on the on practice. Uh, but but Martina has been a women's coach, so that's not fair. And Liam is a women's coach as well. True. True, that makes this, a I'm a different on the chair. And, and, and yeah. I'm out for two years already, so I haven't seen much women racing last year. So, <laughs> I mean, this is quite a, quite an easy one. For, I'm not actually. I'm just going to be quiet. So I don't want to give any clues. Yeah, yeah please be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Martin. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. Swan. No clue. No. no clue. Liam, are you happy with that one? Cool. Okay, this is the question up for grabs with a lot of points. This is question number five. Pejon, Walker and Smolders took the medals in 2012. Name the other five riders that joined them in the final in order. Has to be in order. <laughs> So we know the we know the medalists. We want fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth, all in order. Name names and order. We'll give you a little bit of time on that one. I have to repeat the question. Repeat the question. I missed the start of it. Sorry. It's okay. So we obviously we know the medalists in 2012 for the women. Yeah. Yeah, Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. So 2012 yeah. Olympics. We know that yeah. Ariana won. Sarah second. Laura third. We want yeah. the other five riders that joined them in the final in order. So we want fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. 
Yeah, I'll give you a little bit of time on this one. Chris, I always love it when I see someone's hands in the head, head in the hands. Oh, MJ struggling with this one. Twan's done it quite a lot already. <laughs> Only like ten questions in, Twan's like head in the hand. It's, yeah, it's difficult. Uh, we're really confident in round one, but round two got me. I'm not sure about the places. I think. No, you wasn't the coach uh, back then. Right. <laughs> no, man, this is a fair question. <laughs> I'm just like grabbing out of names, just like who could be in the main, and then just put them in a random order. We have in Sydney <sighs> and Sean at home. Yeah. Who, who, anyone in particular? All three at the minute, by you and me, I think. Really? Not being funny, the Skype thing looks better than Liam's haircut. <laughs> Liam, are you going to hey, take... I did this myself, mate. And the, the baddest thing with that is, is that uh, the barbers are actually op open now in Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> But You've got used to not going, that's it. Savings, every little helps. That's right. Martine and Twan and Liam, I know that we discussed this off air anyway. Can you just check your phones and turn your Wi-Fi off your phones and any other um, devices you might have, just that we're not seeing your face on screen, we're just getting a blue Skype um, image. And they're back now. It just It's intermittent. That's right, no worries. Yeah, I think like we Am said back? the first show, it's quite difficult. Um, I think like obviously everybody's on the internet just okay, yeah, PK. filling their boots, aren't they? It's, it's okay, the people at home can hear you, so it's fine. <laughs> so just, just to repeat that question one last time, Mariana, Sarah and Laura took the medals in the 2012 women's final. Name the other five riders that joined them in the final in position order. So fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. And boys, I'm going to be strict on this one. If they're out of order, if they're not in the right position order, I can't give you any points. Oh. Sorry. What? No points at all? No, unless they're in order. Sorry. If you get the right person in fourth, you get one point. But if you get the wrong ah, one, okay, okay, okay. I was going to say, mate, so, that's brutal. <laughs> <laughs> so brutal. Like, you don't get a point anyway. just to get in all the names. You get the, so if you get the person in fourth right and the person in eighth right, you get two points, yeah? Yeah, correct. Okay. I'm, I might just have to say this. Don't, uh, that, as long as it's not an answer... <laughs> He's frozen. I can't hear him. Good time. Basically, I'm not frozen. I'm still here. I'm just being I, very still. You're back. You're back. Go yeah, I listened to uh, I listened to a podcast earlier, and he's got it in there. It's isn't thrown it? me. Yeah. Good shot. I may, I'll explain more after, but I'm like completely torn because I know what I think, <laughs> but then I know what was said, and I'm trying to I'm trying to think to myself, okay, well, am am I right, <laughs> or is the person actually right? Yeah, I have I have the same. I look at this. This afternoon, checked at least check the results, but I mixing things up. So, and I, my time. Would you say it's easier when you're playing at home? Uh, work. 
Yeah, but the worst thing <laughs> is I did I did my homework and I can't remember. <laughs> so on, how is it? I think I think I have quite a few names right of me and position. I'm just. I know Laura passed somebody in the second turn, but I can't remember who. <laughs> yeah, and I remember there were seven others on the gate. <laughs> yeah, that's like. To be fair, I was I was watching in the stands that day, and when I when I made this question up and I looked at the result, I was like, I didn't remember a couple of them being in the final. I was like, wow. So I uh, I feel your pain. But it's always easier for me because I've got the answers in front of me. So. <laughs> Doesn't it seem like so long ago? And like the, the sort of that generation of uh, bike riders, like there's quite a lot of. Well, what is a bit of uh, Sorry, Liam, I can't hear you. Then we're gonna give put a time yes, limit on it. Time limit. I'm I'm ready to go. Yeah, I, I'm ready as well. Yeah, Twan, you okay? Yeah. We'll just go with it. Right, boys. Just before we go, because I know that a couple of you were struggling with um, any uh, repeat any question before we do the answers, or are you happy just to go with the answers? I have it. Good. Good now. Okay, so question number one, I'm going to go to Liam with this one because this was the one he was struggling with, but I think he's got it. So, whose career number in the male category is 593? Uh, the big man from Ecuador, Campo. Yes, he's got it. He got that right. That's you... like one of those mad questions where you like, it's such a prominent number, obviously, Alfredo is one of the top dudes. And Tuan and Martin, you got that, yeah? Correct. Yep. Good stuff. So question number two, we're going to go to you, Tuan. Which two girls narrowly missed out on the 2016 Olympic final, finishing fifth in their semis? Tuan? I like Caroline, but... Uh, Tick, that's one, Caroline. Caroline. Second. And, and I no others, but I think one of the Russians. Nope, she made the final. No, so so the Caroline's one. Go on then, Martin. You seem quite confident. Do you want to give us a second one? Yeah, because Caroline, they ended with three girls all on 13 points. That's what I remember. And I think Simona was the other on the the other semifinal. No. Was she sixth? Oh, that's what I've got. Oh. I've got Simone as well. you got Simone. What have you got scribbled out, Liam? Uh, now I put Simone. And then I and then I scribbled it out and I put Buchanan. Yeah. And then I went to write. I don't want to say. Go on. Who was going to write? I scribbled out Diaz. Diaz. That's the right answer. <laughs> oh, Liam, you oh man. That's a difficult one, that. So, yeah. So, the two girls that narrowly missed out in the 2016 oh. final, finishing fifth in their semis, was Buchanan and Diaz. So one point each around, all around there. Yeah, we all got Caroline, but um, Mate, Liam, I can't believe you changed Simone, there. Simone let me down, didn't she? <laughs> so question. And there was a good thing I, I, when I looked this afternoon. Diaz, she made the 20, uh, two, uh, the 08 Olympics. Then she wasn't at the 2012. And then she was at the 16. So she missed the one in the middle. Fair play. Fair play. Has anybody else done that? I don't think so. No, me not. neither. How old was Diaz at the last world, at the last um, Olympics? 64. Yeah, she's about 40. He's, <laughs> he was born in 81. Jesus. I was going to say, I remember her winning the Worlds in um, Louisville in Kentucky, 2001. Yeah. yeah, 2001. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah. To be fair, when I when I see this, what I say, when I see the result on that, and I looked, I was like, bloody hell, she's still racing. <laughs> you seen her profile picture on BMX results. <laughs> you be careful, Sean. You be careful. Right, I'll, I'll keep it quiet. I thought it was one more, but anyway, let's go. Next one. Mother, Mother Teresa. He's had six <laughs> cans of uh, Thatcher's cider before we come on, so I do apologise to anyone offended at home. Question number three. Obviously, this is a Dutchy question, so we're going to go to Liam for this one. Yeah. How many male Dutch riders have made an Olympic final? So if you give us the number that you got, Liam, and then I'll, I'll uh, tell you yes or no, and we'll go through them. I, I went for six. I went two, two, two. No. Nope. Oh, that is wrong. Uh one it was uh rob van wildenberg in 2008 ending up fifth there was me and raymond in fourth and fifth in london and yelly and Nick in two and i think seven 
six. in Rio. I've got six. seven down here, my time. Oh, yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, that was the question from last week. Well, that goes seven, the bonus and... point. That goes the bonus point. Yeah, we didn't get any bonus <laughs> points. <laughs> my time, don't That's do that to me. It. You make me question my own quiz then when no, someone no, no, goes, no, correct, he got no, sick. I'm like, no! Right. So it was five. Five was the answer. Just uh, one I, I, I thought Raymond made the final. <laughs> Liam got away with that lightly, didn't you, with just being one point on the upper grabs? Yeah, I think Ray, Raymond Ray, ended up fifth. Very true. Fifth, fifth in the semi. He, he won his last uh, semi, but he didn't make it into the final. He crashed out twice. The first so, round. Question number four. We're going to go to Twan for this one. <laughs> Who career number in the female category? I've only gone to Twan because I know he had his head in his hand. Sorry, Twan. <laughs> I, I, I went for Canadian. Okay. <laughs> Twan. Twan. What, what person? Twan. Is it a bit? I'll bet the humor then. 911. Yeah, but you don't have a written, written, written that down. <laughs> I, I can only no. take an answer on your sheet. What's on your sheet? Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> That is it, just Canadian. <laughs> I didn't. I thought it was a Canadian jersey, but I didn't know like what oh. what name was what with it. So I was like, I think it's Canadian. Oh shit! I had to write something down. Not but now you say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swan, sorry, I just like I I, look, I remember who struggles with the questions. I think let's go to them. Let's go to them. Um, Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, question number five. We'll go to you, Martine, for this one. So I want, first and foremost, who finished fourth? Le Corguil. Correct. Who finished fifth? I think Buchanan. Correct. <laughs> what? Who Number six? Six. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. I think there was one country having two girls in the final because I remember there were seven different countries in the final, but I'm not really sure. I think Poitiers? No, wrong. Uh, Any right. Can we different? just stop there? Yeah, Can we on. just stop there? Right. <laughs> because <laughs> this is my dilemma, right? So I had written down, sorry to interrupt my time, yeah, I fine. had Reed and Buchanan, right? Yeah, in, in fifth and sixth, Reed and then Buchanan. But you're saying it's Buchanan and then Reed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty fifth. sure that Buchanan got fifth. fifth. Yeah, but Buchanan was fifth, yeah. And then Reed was sixth, yeah. Right. Uh, okay. So, this is Can where we... this is this is where my my problem lies. <laughs> <laughs> because I listened to a podcast earlier. And Sinead said that she got a fifth at the Olympics, and she kept saying it. <laughs> but she, but she didn't. She got sick. <laughs> Liam, she's actually watching live at home. So, she, so she's done me. Give her some shit. But, Sinead's done him there. You've absolutely killed him. On that, we asked Liam a couple of weeks ago how many elite titles he'd won in the UK, and he didn't have a clue. So he can't really say anything here, can he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear John what, 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 yeah, I had Poitier Hernandez post Caroline and Reed. okay so Reed comes no point no so Reed comes six so you get a point for everyone so Lico Gill four Buchanan five Reed six Poitier seven oh, and Crane fuck <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I switched Reed and Poche up. I had Reed in seven and Poche in six and then eight Brook Crane. So just missed one, switched it up. So I had the five right, but in the, not in the right order. But Liam, Liam, you would have got a, a clean sweep if, if Sinead would have got it right on, a, on the podcast today. She's killed you. I'm, I'm, I'm happy she killed you. <laughs> I'm fuming because this is where I'm going it down. I was like, my gut feel like now she's in six and Caroline got fifth. But she won, now got fifth. Because she was in, oh, the, to Tori, Tori got fifth at the Olympics. Oh, you know, the best people finish fifth at the Olympics. They were like having a joke about it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. 
Maybe she got relegated in one place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, tally up your points, boys. It is out of ten, that round. I got two then. Oh, three. <laughs> one, say again. Three. I had the first one. I had only Caroline. And I had then the five Dutchies who made the uh, Olympics. So, that's three points, right? And you had everyone wrong in the, the five. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I had a couple of names right. Okay, Twan crashed on the second straight. No, but Twan, Twan, you got Alfredo right, yeah. You got Buchanan right. That's two. You yeah. got the Dutchies right. Three. You got oh, you got Beth wrong, and then you got no one right in number five. No, I've got some names, but in a different order. <laughs> oh shit! So you got three. This, this time he crashed on the second straight. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, Twan, your chains come off, this mate. Time I, You're going backwards. Yeah, this, this, is, uh, this is. Yeah. <laughs> Martin, uh, I got six, guys. Six for you, Liam? Six. Yeah. I, I've, I've six. got se seven. Seven. Just could, could have had two more extra points in the last one, but too bad. Damn. Boy, I got passed on the. Go on, Twan, go on. I got passed down a second straight again. <laughs> Not even a third straight this time. <laughs> so just give you the scores on the doors after round two. Um, Twan is in third with eight points. And Liam and Martijn are drawing up front with 11 points. Before we go on to the video round, just going to jump over to you, Martijn. Um, obviously, before you started coaching Twan, did you have any ideas kind of, of where he needed to improve when you worked with him? Uh, yes, <laughs> that was quite sure. Uh, this, the mental part, uh, that's where I really need to help with him, him with. Um, he was already always one of the fastest guys, uh, but most of the time he didn't make it happen uh, when he had to. Uh, like uh, showing the best uh, best times and rounds and everything in the early rounds and then in the final uh, I always was more when I raced myself more scared of Tuan in the semis than in the main because I most of the time I knew um, he would hit the gate or split out or whatever always something happened so uh, that was that was the main point for us to work on uh, to focus on the process uh, of doing everything right and then the result comes at the end. And uh, without giving too much away, what is there any particular little bits that you've done on the mental side you can share with us or do you want to just keep that as a secret? Uh, no, 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 it's fine. Um, first of all, he worked with a sports psychologist, uh, the one I worked with as well, uh, and that clicked really well. So that's how he really learned um, because Twan in his head most of the time switched from uh, his task, doing a good gate or whatever, then in the final switching to, okay, maybe I can win this race or uh, maybe I can have this result or that result. And it took some time, but we really worked on, okay, keep focusing on what you're doing, what's your task, um, and that's the main focus to get the result. That's the, the result is the result of executing your task in the right way. Yeah. So basically, like what you're saying, being present in that moment, not worrying about the things that you can't control in the future. I'll be present in the moment, yeah. do what you can do, and the rest will look after itself kind of thing. Yep, correct. Good stuff. I like that. Good insight. Thanks for sharing. I'm going to pass all of you guys over to Sean now. Tuan, just a little bit of advice from our time for round three. Just focus on what's in front of you and try and catch these guys. All right. <laughs> I'm going to pass you over to Sean, boys. Good luck for round three. All right. So round three video round. I think I've helped you out a little bit on this first one, uh, Tuan. You guys have already been sent the uh, videos. But for the viewers at home, we're doing a bit of a what happens next on all uh, four of these next videos, so best of luck. So first video coming up, we're going to take you back to the 2019 World Champs at Zolder. So here's your question before I uh, show it you this week. Um, so as Twan's going down the uh, second straight, what happens? Here's the video. Looks like um, uh, Nick Kim is not going to cross from the outside. Twan back into the Netherlands, leads it through. Oh! Point here, at this point here, what is going to happen next? Is it A, your bar humps for the fans? 
Does he B, nose bonk and somehow save it? Does he C, crash whilst leading? Or D, absolutely nothing, gets for it smooth and just carries on leading his world champs final? Sean, we should have put an or E, Martine has something brown ending up in his pants. <laughs> Uh, actually, I was standing on the second corner, so I didn't really see what happened. No oh one did. We've seen your iPad footage. Yeah. Hey, do you know what Ross Cullen says? Go on. Ross Cullen <laughs> says he, he'll say, if somebody does something dodgy, he'll say, oh, Malteser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we Maltesered. That just shows you how polite that kid is. Okay, next question then. Uh, we are going to 2010, South Africa. We went there in, uh, in week one. Uh, cruiser final. What I want to know is what happens after this jump? So, following that point there, what happens there? Does the guy at the back, 50-50 his bike, he's not got enough speed, snaps it. Does he B, two guys collide in midair and crash. C, the rider in fourth crashes and takes four people with them. Or D, the rider in second crashes and seven end up going with them crashing. Have you seen that footage before? If you know, if you know the winner of that race, got bonus points? Do you know we what? You are that. that far behind. I believe we should do that. I've got no way of checking that, so Chris is about to Google that. So I'll give you that. I feel like you're confident with this one, Twan. Twan, you're the champ. I trust you. Whatever you say is right, mate. <laughs> it's a Colombian, right? Do you want the video again? <laughs> Liam, you look uh, you look baffled by this one. Um, I've watched, I've seen the video, but I think I know what happens. But uh, yeah. Okay, right, moving on then. So, question three, we're going to Norway now this time. Uh, and Kyle Evans and Curtis Manerton going to the finish line. I want to know what happens after this. Oh, in the front we have double English rider. It's Frey Britain. It's Kyle Evans. It's Curtis Manerton. Following that, just as they're going over the finish line, does it A, Kyle Evans, who's on the left, uh, smashes into the fence, doesn't see the fence and just smashes into it, rides into it. B, do they both lunge and then end up hitting each other and crashing? Is it C, Curtis Manning, who's on the right, thinks that he's won and celebrates? Or D, Evans rides into the cameraman? So here's that video again. Oh, in the front we have double English rider. It's Frey Britain. It's Kyle Evans. It's Curtis Manning. Oh, A, B, C, or D? Take it, no one's ever seen that video. Please gamble, though. Yeah, gamble. Not creative yep. uh, with those answers. After last week, I was told I had no creativity. Okay. This is always my worst round. <laughs> Gambling. You're too busy watching the big dogs. Mind you, that was an elite final, so there you go. Should have been there watching. In fact, you'd have been racing back in there, no? The video there. Okay, final one. Euro Champs 2018, or the Euro Games, I should say, over at Glasgow. Here is the video first. I'm going to do the question after on this one. Short one, but what I want to know is what position 
Does Kai White come out in turn one? Video again? Yes. I think I know. It's not multiple choice. That one isn't. We got one to eight. There you go. <laughs> Liam, you look confident there after that question. Me? Yeah. Nah, I just think you sort of. I, I didn't. I wasn't at the race, and I didn't really watch uh, much of it back, but. I know that he made the main and was pretty much doing the same thing all day and just sort of guessing really from from uh, yeah just from watching loads of racing over the years <laughs> MJ you, you were straight in there saying yeah I know this one uh, I'm not sure but I think I know okay. because Joris Harmson was in that race as well he's on the outside and I was coaching him then so I think I remember what happened but not really sure. Right, let's go through these answers. Come on, I'm going to come to you for this one, this first one then. So what happens over the second jump? <laughs> Nothing. I just <laughs> run, run, run that clean. <laughs> Talk to me. How, how, how do no, you feel? I, I, uh, I, I know I bunked it and somehow I saved it. And it's pretty... Except uh, the words, uh, I would su subscribe it myself. Still don't know how I really survived it, but I uh, did, don't did, care anymore. Did you know it was that bad until you watched it back? Well, yeah, I definitely know it was that bad. I came out, I, I was thinking, I, I, I was almost a meter short of my front wheel. <laughs> a meter. That's like, that's pretty bad. I've watched it thousands of times and I still don't understand. But just for the fans at home, here is uh, here is what went down. Outside Van uh, Nick Kim is not going to cross from the outside. Twa back into the Netherlands, leads it through. Oh, Ryder's going down. Anthony Dean has hit the deck. Kai White's in. Well, the only thing I know is that I came out of the first turn with more speed than a whole day. Because I was coming from the outside, didn't break for the turn, and I just, yeah, put on cranks as hard as I could, and I had the first one clean, and then pushed it down. Yeah. And, 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 and what, say what happened, what, what were you thinking coming out of the first turn? <laughs> but, yeah, this is the I'm uh, interested about. It's, it was, it was well, unbelievable. Like, well, A was. The whole, the whole shot, the, the, the main, and, well, okay, so I come out of the first turn, and I was like, holy fuck, I, I just whole shot it. <laughs> <laughs> Rem yeah. remem remember what I just said to Chris? <laughs> holy shit, yeah. I'm in first place, thinking about the result, <laughs> not the process. <laughs> I'm just going to ask yeah. Twan, like, was that, was that because you had a moment of realisation that you whole shot it? the world final or you know like yeah you hit something on the takeoff like a kink in the takeoff or something i think it's a little bit of a because the first one was way harder to clean properly because it was really really easy to tag it you saw the whole day everybody tagged it and i just had it really clean and then i pushed it down and some i think my front wheel just got yeah, tucked just up in the up. lip a little bit because if I try it, like when it's dry or anything, if I try to push it dead hard, dead low, I not even can, can do it, I think. Yeah. My front wheel was just barely coming into the air. Mad. It's crazy. Yeah. Right, okay, let's move on to question two. You got away with it. You came yeah, back with a W1. Fun. It don't matter. It's okay. Um, right, okay, so what happens to the guy after the jump in 2010? Uh, Liam, you said you was kind of... Almost there with it. Uh, uh, yeah, D. Say, say that again, sorry, you cut out. D. D. Okay, right, Ryder in second crashes crash. and seven go with. Blow up. Completely correct. Here's the, uh, here's the video for the fan. Wow, go 
Come on, Antoine. Who was the who was the guy that won it? It was a little brother of Carlos, David Aquendo Zabala. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't know that. There you go. Right, write that one down, Chris, for next time. No, I've just checked. It's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> wrong? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm yeah. joking. Because <laughs> the guy ended up fourth in the in twenty inch. Hey, go! I can't remember that much from there. I was I was too busy in the fans getting a enjoying the enjoying the world. Right. Anyway, um, the the third one. What happens next with Kyle Evans and Curtis Madden? Uh, MJ. Uh -oh. Yeah, I, I don't really... I have C, I think, because if you look at the photo finish, it looks like he in front, but I can't remember that he won, so I've got no idea. I think C. Liam, you're not in. Do you agree C with that? C. Yeah? Twam? Yeah, I guess C as well. Okay, here's the yeah. answer. Oh, it's probably a double English rider. It's Frey Britain. It's style and it's Curtis Malata. Finish, and in the third position, we have to finish. And in the third position, we have <laughs> oh, awkward. That and eh? did he not win? He didn't, he got second. <laughs> maybe, maybe he was just celebrating because he got second, potentially, potentially, but we won't fist pump a second, would we? Maybe he'll, he'll he might comment and let us know at a later point. Right, okay. Um, here we go then, the fourth one. Uh, we went to the 2018 Euro Games. We asked you what position did Kai White come out of turn one. Uh, Liam, what did you put? Uh, third. Okay. Tuan? But that was just a guess. I have fourth. MJ? I've got second. Okay, so three different answers. Because I think Graf takes the whole shot. Do you want me to put you out of your misery? No. Yeah. Evans yeah. the whole shot of it. And I think he passes Andre in the, the in the last trade. But this is Yeah. Send me now. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Here we go. Third place. Oh, uh, Great guess. Not a bad guess at all. You can't complain about that. Right, tally up your scores then, boys. Is that a four? Come on, Twan. I hope you've had a better round, surely. Yeah, only the last question. I had four instead of third. So the other three I had. Okay, three points. Plus the, the bonus of the main. <laughs> Give him four points, Chris. He is clawing for every point he can. We'll, we'll let him have four. Liam, how did you get on? Four for Liam as well. Four points. And then four. Three. Three points. Okay. Right. Okay. Back to you then, Chris. The ground on the third trade again. Yeah, you're back in. You're back in for medal for the contention for the win. So, just before we go into the last round, Liam's on 15, Martin on 14, and Tuan on 12. Tuan, just a quick one before we jump onto these last questions. At the Zolder, are your friends football hooligans? Because mate, when you won, they were absolute. Mate, it was like going to my local football team. Honestly, they were just crazy. Drinking beers, like chanting. I've never seen anything like it. And also, before Martin started coaching you, was that what you used to do every weekend? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, I'm, uh, those are my friends for like a really long time ago uh, already. But it was the first time the complete, complete group came out to the race. Um, there's a, a funny story behind it. In 2014, uh, when the worlds were in uh, Rotterdam, uh, a few of them came uh, to the race and, well, they celebrated Saturday and, well, they were in a headache watching Sunday's race, which uh, the Dutchies obviously did really well, ending up uh, everybody was finished in 1-8. So they came to Rotterdam and they, they 
literally saw me on my laptop is crashing. Yeah. Well, they literally saw me riding like two straights and then ending up like six uh, in the one eight. So I was done. Um, and then I had it for like five years. They were saying like, hey, yeah, we're, we're, we're watching you again. You're, you're done, in, uh, done in one round. So um, to shut them all up, I just, um, I arranged the transport to the to Zolder. So I rent the bus and I arranged all the tickets for them. So they were there in the, yeah, in, in the, in the most shit weather you can like imagine. And well, ending up winning the whole thing. Nobody expected that. And, um, well, they all had like, I wouldn't say gambles on when I, that I, that I was going out again in first round and second <laughs> round. And like, they had all kinds of things like that. One of them is never drinking beer. You can't imagine, but one of them isn't. And he said, like, if he wins today, I'm drinking beer. So, yeah, he was drinking beer for the first time in his life. <laughs> oh, God. I've got to say, I've been to many world championships and watched the elite podium, but I've never seen security get called to the elite <laughs> podium. <laughs> this was the first time. And the funny thing is, like, there wasn't, like, um, how do you say the things that they... they They hadn't any of those at the race. So they got the, the, the celebration of the, the medals. They were on a, like on a big disc. They arranged two out of three, one to bring them beer and one to have the beer standing on in the, in the stands the whole day. Oh, mate, honestly, <laughs> it, was, it was epic. I, I remember watching. Do you know one thing I was going to ask you before we go into the last round was, what was more sketchy, you on the second straight or you trying to climb the stands when you won? We thought you were going to break your neck because you tried to climb up the stand. Sec the second straight was more sketchy. control. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good stuff. Good times, good times. Right, we're going to move on. So, well, Any, just quickly, Chris, anybody that, uh, if your mates weren't confident that you were going to win the world, that they obviously didn't watch practice. <laughs> no, they didn't. So I think, I think anybody that watched practice, I think you were, uh, yeah, you were definitely a favourite, shall we say, for sure. Thanks for saying that. <laughs> that, 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 that. Which is like typical friends, like they just like to take the mickey out of you and stuff and keep you really grounded. Yeah, yeah, that's them. Like, yeah. Well, yeah, that's them. Yeah. well, I think they enjoyed it more than you. They're probably <laughs> I'm saying it was the best day of the, of the year, so uh, that's that's pretty cool to hear, hear that from the guys, those guys. You should have seen them when Tuan got uh, like from the government or the his city, they had like a celebration. They were even more crazy there than, uh, <laughs> than at the world. So God. imagine that. Uh, Tuan, if you win it again, you have to invite us. We want to come and party with your friends because they're, they're, they're legends. They're legends. Uh, right, we're going to move. Well, you're, you're welcome every weekend with them, Mark. <laughs> don't tempt me. Don't Just tempt don't me. wear that shirt, mate. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting for that, haven't you? You've been waiting for that. Right, we're going to move on. <laughs> Round number four. Martin, I hope you shut Liam up for me, yeah? Come on, mate. I'm rooting for you. Yeah. Dutch power. <laughs> World Cups and World Championships. The first Ooh. one is a little bit of a toughie, actually. I think this is quite a tough one. But I've thrown in a GB question for Liam. So, question number one. Dylan Clayton has made the elite podium once. What year and what position did he finish? Two points up a grab. Dylan Clayton has made the elite podium once in his career. What year? The year, the, the year 9002 or something? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be watching. He won't be happy with that. What year <laughs> and what position? I, 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 uh, I, got, yeah. I got his jersey in 99 in Falais, France. We had to put him in, didn't we, Chris? Because he won the uh, he won the BMX hype legends lockdown legends. The UK, yeah, he was very uh, cool. UK, 
vote as the best UK ever rider. Sorry, Liam. <laughs> uh, he's legit. You know, I, I, I had a, I had a very bad position. I had after, but when you read that, Liam, I, I keep losing. No idea what it is. Right. Say that again, Sorry, mate. mate. I've lost you. Say it again. I said, I said that I had, I had a, a date and a position come straight to my head. Um, but I have nothing really to base it on other than feel. Go with that. I and I know who won. I know who won the race. And I just have a. I just have a. Who won the race? Ali. Yeah, Thomas. Thomas won. Yeah. Yeah. Then I'm. Then I think I'm good. So question one, just to repeat. Dylan Clayton has made the elite podium once in his career. What year and what position? Are you happy for us to move on, Twan? You look like you might have just clue. given might have just given it away now because if they know when Thomas won the world, yeah, no. that's what that's what I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so thank you. Twan, Twan, Twan doesn't. Hey, Do you know, Twan? this is too close for me to be giving anything away. Well, actually, but I don't know for sure. Well, Liam, probably I, about I, 10. Liam, I basically I coaxed that out of you, mate, because you'd ripped my shirt. So come on, Martin, don't let us down, yeah? <laughs> hey, Chris, was it on the trip when I was um when I was nicknamed the fire starter? <laughs> oh, do you know what? I I actually can't remember. I can't I, I remembered when you got that nickname and I remember it, but I don't remember what country it was in. We'll find out. Anyway, <laughs> you speed up, guys. Sorry, sorry to push. Question two, who won the 2008 World Cup Series, male and female? 2008 World Cup Series winner, male and female, one point for each. So who won the 2008 World Cup Series, male and female, two points. Twan, you've not given up already, have you? You're not giving up on us. No, 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 no. The first one was for the year and place, right? Year and position, yeah. So you've got 50-50 on the position because Liam's already told yeah. you day one. <laughs> then I'm getting a little bit more confident. <laughs> So question two, just to repeat before we move on, who won the 2008 World Cup Series, male and female? Let me know when you're good to go on the next to the next one. Martin, you still thinking? No, I'm good. I, at least I hope. <laughs> He's done his own work, he knows. No, I'm not sure. Twan, how are you feeling? You ready to move on? Yeah, I'm ready to move on. <laughs> okay, question three. Who was the last Argentinian rider to make the elite men podium at the Worlds? Just one point, just want the name. Who, who was the last Argentinian rider to make the elite men podium at the Worlds? Just come to get some uh, peanuts, Sean. Is that, is that an innuendo? Just to repeat that's, that question. That's a tough question. Who was the last Argentinian rider to make the elite men podium at the Worlds? I'm not going to give you some little clues, but it's too tight. Let me know when you're ready to move on. His points. Yes, 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 yes.
There's quite a few people writing in the comments on the Facebook this answer, and they're all wrong. <laughs> Just had a brain wave. <laughs> Liam's like a kid at Christmas he's buzzing yeah because I just scratched out my first answer I can't, I'm, I'm going back back up the years actually I'm looking forward back to up the years. hearing what you got so are you feeling confident? nope <laughs> at least he's on I'm it. doing my homework man Right, we're getting ah, yes, 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 yes. yes. Liam, you've yeah. given it away. You've given it away. I think I know no. the year, but I can't, no. can't tell on his name. Yep. It drops out of nowhere, that does, doesn't it, my time? Yeah. No, I, 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 I was going down the years as well, and then I was like, oh, there's one, yeah. Well, I started, and I went up, thinking, oh, is there anybody from that point? Okay, next question, boys. We're going to move on. Question four. Name the three girls that have retained a W1 plate in Elite Back. The three girls. So it's three points for this one. The three girls that have retained their W1 plate back to back in Elite Women. Only three. What you're thinking now, aren't we? It's all gone quiet, Sean. They must be they're racking their brains, aren't they? They're struggling, aren't they? I think I'm quite sure about two. I, I'm quite sure about two, but the third one I'm not 100 percent sure. This I think I have two. This could cause upsets, this one. Yes. Because I, I, I watched back last week and it was all questions of the last couple of years, like from 2012 onwards. And this is, most of it is going backwards quite, got, quite far. We've got to keep it we guessing. Tripped, yeah, Martin. yeah, we've got to keep, it, keep, keep you on your toes. And also, Martin, we wanted to go back to, to the years when you were riding. Oh. <laughs> yeah, correct. Harsh. <laughs> Oh. When I was doing the hypers. Yeah. You, you yeah. weren't even born. We haven't helped you, Tuan. Sorry. Chris, he's the same age as this. is going to get even worse for you. Tuan, the next question is going to get even worse for you. I do apologize. Hey, Chris, what, what year were you, you born? Uh, Chris is older than you. 86? I'm 86, my Yeah, 87. Was you? Yeah. We've yeah. got from Liam to, to Chris, there's a year between us all. Yeah, it is fair. Liam's three. And then Twan's just a baby, isn't he? Uh, yeah, I was yeah. born in 89. Twan, when? 92. So Connor, Corbin, Sylvan. Easy age for growing up then. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was easy. easy. How many world titles did you win in, uh, in the age group? None. <laughs> Just save it for the big stage, mate. Save it for the big stage. Yeah, that's my first. Yeah, I got hey, third that, in junior. That, but. That, that, that's the same for me. I never made a world's final. I'm just an elite once. No way. Yep. We're going to come on to that in a minute, Martin. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. <laughs> Hold that thought. The last question is about that. Right, boys, you all happy? We can... Most of you said you got two out of three. Have you made a guess for the last one? Yeah. Nope. You might want to you might want to have a guess then, Tuan, before we move on. Yeah, I will, I will have a guess. Yeah. Martin, he needs to work on this being present, doesn't he? Yeah. He's thinking about the next question. <laughs> right, we're going to move on. The last question. Apologies in advance, Tuan. 2013. We like to remind you, Liam won the worlds. We all know that. 2013, LP won the worlds. First question for one point. What position did Martin finish? And then one point wrong that he beat. 
who finished after Martin can you get one point per rider that he beat? So I want to know Martin's position, and then I'll give you one point per rider that finished after Martin. And I'm not telling you how many points are up for grabs because then that will tell you how many riders he beat. And do we have to get them in order? No, no order, just the riders. I have the order as well. I could have <laughs> He's <been> finished. <laughs> oh. Martin, Martin literally said a minute ago, I made one world final. <laughs> if you made one, who's you know in that final, you know exactly the position where they come. Yeah. Exactly. Liam, Liam you only made one, no? Yeah. Yeah, should be. Do you know the position that Martin come? Yeah. I, I, I've watched this video. I, I've watched Papendal World Cup through 2013 as well, because that, that was my first final in a World Cup, because I passed Liam with a high-low in the last turn. That, that's probably also the oh, only... Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 the only round I ever won from Liam was a semi-final <laughs> in a World Cup. <laughs> Martin, don't worry. I think I beat him once. He was nine. <laughs> <laughs> and you were two, three years older. Yeah, I was 13, but I still cut him up and I was celebrating when I was over the line and I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every practice. <laughs> yeah, it was a practice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, Twan, you you look like you're struggling there, Twan. I think I have three out of four. Do you know what position he came? You must know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I bet he's told you a million times, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But there's a highlight of my career. He told, he told me a million times until I beat him. <laughs> and now he doesn't <laughs> talk about it anymore. <laughs> no, no, now it's like somewhere I put it back in a corner or something. <laughs> it's because. If I talk about my final, Twan's going to tell me how many how, about his win. That's probably why. Yeah, okay. I will almost it. I'll give you one more minute. I'll give you one more minute and then we're going to move on. I'm still, I'm confident of two of the... There were the, so many crashes that day. And there was. Twan, don't take away Liam's world championship like that. Yeah. Cheers, no, mate. No, no, no. Like, Cheers, mate. I'm, <laughs> I, I went, but that's like just, there were there were some names in the final. Martin, I um, hope you're not talking about you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, come on, mate, backtrack, mate. You you digging a hole here? I always didn't know I ended up in a wooden place in the in the semi because of uh, Willis. He sandwiched me between Herman and yeah in the first turn. Right, so we're going to move on then, boys. You're happy? We're going to go for the answers? Yes. Yeah, let's go I just for the need My earpods are dead. I just, just need to change my um, earpods. One second. Oh, oh, yeah. you, you can carry on. Well, you got two pairs there, Liam, yeah. You know where the money's at. Yeah, proper skin, Martin, Martin isn't it? He's got no money. He's got two <laughs> pairs of, of earpods, but he's all right. Right, we'll move. <laughs> Question one. I'm going to go to Twan because I know he's got no fucking clue. <laughs> 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 they helped me a lot. <laughs> Dylan Clayton has made the elite podium once. What year and what position? Twan. 90, 1988. 90 what? 88. 88? 88? How old do you think he is? <laughs> <laughs> Twan, Twan, listen, before we go on, all of the World Championship questions are from 1996 onwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what position? What position did you have? Uh, I guess on third. Third. So third is correct. Okay. We'll go to Martin for the year. Yeah, I know Allie won the years between uh, uh, af before and after Robert De Wilder. So that's 98 and 2000. So I guess 98. Eight? How sure are you on 98? Not really sure, but I, because I, I, I think, because Liam said he went there and the, the worlds in 2000 were in Argentina and I'm not sure if he would have gone there at that age. So that's why I think it's 98. He did. You went, you, you got, you made, you made the main there, didn't you, Liam? I got second to Joey Bradford. Joey Bradford, yeah. Oh, really? That. Okay. That, so, so that's why my guess was 98. 
<laughs> Why are you on that, Martin? That was the I only world that. final that I made, and I crashed twice. <laughs> I get twice third as well. So, yeah, boys, I'll cut you out of your uh, misery. But No, you're both right. 1998 in Melbourne, and he finished third. Any guesses for who comes second? Tuan, do you know who comes second? Well, wait, sorry, Tuan, I'll go back to you. Liam or Martin, anyone that comes second? I think Levesque. Nope. I think uh, Andy Comtes. Yes, Andy Comtes. Knowledge. I, I only missed one number, though. I was correct for three out of four. Yeah, 1988. <laughs> uh, that's when <laughs> the Netherlands became the first time European champion in soccer and the only one one time. Let's not let Martijn, England have got enough pain. We don't want to talk about football tonight, please. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. So, Tuan, we'll give you the points for that, Tuan. You read it wrong. You meant 1998, didn't you? Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, we'll give you the points for that, Tuan. Well done. Good knowledge. <laughs> Question two. <laughs> Who won the 2008 World Cup Series, male and female? We'll go to Liam with this one. Uh, Donny and Ariel Martin. What did you have, Martin? Uh, I had Sarah Walker and Stromberg, but uh, so and zero zero points for me. One? What? Did, no, I haven't said what's right. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. One? What did you? I have? had Stromberg and look look real. Liam. Got both right. But but I also had Strummy and uh, Local Gill down and I scratched it out. Yeah, oh, so it was, it, it was Johnny uh, and Ariel Martin. Yeah. Any guess and, guesses for second and third in the in the guys who come second and third that year? I can put you out your misery if you want me to. Mikey? Herman do good. Herman comes second and Kyle Bennett third. And in the ladies, um, second was Lico Gill and third was Sarah. Wasn't there only like three or four rounds in 2008? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was probably. Yeah, yeah, and I remember that Chasson didn't, didn't race a lot, that she just won the Olympics because yeah. I think she also did modern bike. So that's why I think, okay, she it's not her, but too bad. I'm sure Ariel Martin didn't even win a race. I think she just was consistent all the way through. And won yeah. Yeah. That's possible. Don't quote me on that one, but I think. Question three. We're going to go to you, Martin. Who was the last Argentinian to make the elite men podium at the Worlds? Ramiro Marino. Yeah. Is that what right? Did, yeah, it's right. What did you two have down? Because you were, you were unsure. I, I had Ramiro, and I did a, replace it for Colombo. Ah. <laughs> I had Columbo. We can hear that. You keep keep with keep with him. Go on. What did you have, Liam? I had Columbo, and then and I remember uh, Ramiro Maurice on the podium in uh, two thousand nine. Yeah, Martin, you had this, you had that right as well. Yeah. Did you have anyone written down, or did you know that one? No, I I I, I moved up, and I was like I knew uh, Besserine at two thousand five in Falkenswart, and then Colombo in two thousand six, and I was like yeah. I had Colombo down, and I was like, and then I remembered this afternoon I watched the the results of the the worlds, and I was like no, there is one later. Uh, I think yeah, it was in Adelaide, right? Yeah, Adelaide. Yeah, it was Adelaide. In two thousand nine, I gave you too much time on that one. We should have moved on quicker. Yeah, yeah, then we all had Colombo. <laughs> <laughs> True. Tuan, Tuan, we're going to go to you for answers for question four. Name the three girls that have retained their world one plate in elite women. Who have retained them? Tuan, anyone go first? I had, I had Willie Carnes and I had Shanice Reed. But... Them two are correct. Oh. What was the third one, Tuan? You had? Nah. Canadian. No clue. Canadian or something. <laughs> no, no. Just this, this time I just had a stripe. It's better, it's better for everybody. When you said um, Shanae's and Willie Carnes, Liam had a bit of a, a moan and groan. What, 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 did you, what did you have, Liam? Because I had Willie and uh, Gabriela Diaz. Yeah. But I can't remember Shanae. Where did Shanae's retain? 07 and 08. China was 08. I don't know well, oh. and 08. Of course, I I put down Mariana, but I yeah. See, yeah. this is why this is why I put this question in because Mariana won it three times, but there was a gap between each year, and it's a bit yeah. of a bit of a tricky yeah. one. I, I I knew Diaz and Carnes, and I remember Reed as well. 
I thought Natasha Williams at the beginning, like 96, 97. Nice. So, Martin, you, did, you didn't get it right. You got two out of three, yeah? Two, yeah. Okay, so two points each for that one. And just to clarify, after Sinead's, so when Cal, Willie won it in 05, 06, Reed yep. and Sinead's won it 07, 08. So them two won back to back. And then 09 was Walker in Australia. And then 03 from Diaz was uh, Azinka in Australia, Perth. So last question. And obviously, we're going to obviously go to Twan because he knows this one. Um, Leah won the world in 2013. What position did Martin finish? You definitely know this one. Yeah, it wasn't fourth. Yes, he finished fourth. And now it's now it's yeah. getting interesting. I know Barry was in the main. Yeah. I think Yoshi was in the main. So can I just clarify? Are you now naming people in the main, or are you naming people that Martin beat? This is this is a. Uh, no, this is who Martin beat. Because Brett, Brett Howell got third, Willis got second. Okay, so... He, he beat Yoshi, he beat Barry, I think Josh McQueen was in there. Do you think, or you, is that an answer or not? That's an answer, I, I wrote it down. That's correct, so that's... No, he said, he said, he said the wrong name, he said McLean, it's not Josh McLean, oh, it's Joshua God. Callan. Joshua Callan, yeah, that's, that's... That's what he meant, we know what he meant, Martin. Yeah, I, I, just, no, that's not then, correct. Then the, <laughs> and then the last one, I couldn't come up with the last one. I know Sam and Connor crashed and Sam stood up, but I didn't think he, 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 he went through on the quarters, but I think he didn't made it until so what the did you write down? <laughs> <laughs> I had Dean. I had Dean, Dean for that. No, um, so we'll go ah, to... Sorry. Yeah, Tori, yeah, there you go. You, you do it for me. There we go. Ta -da! So, yeah, just to clarify, Martin, go on, Martin, talk us through it, mate. We know you yeah, can talk it's, about it's, it. it. It's the day of my life. <laughs> no, yeah, I went in third yeah. into the first turn, and then Yoshi crashed against Nobles, and Nobles' bike hit my bike, and then Brett Hour passed me. So it was me in fourth, Nyok in fifth, Kellen in sixth, Nagasako seven, Nobles in eight. Perfect. Liam, did you get that right, yeah? Yes. Right then, boys, tally oh. up the scores. Go on, I, Liam, what are you going to say? I just want to know, what, by the time, what's, um, and I know we, we should wrap this up pretty quick, but I just wanted to know, what, for you, on a personal level, what has been a bigger highlight? Coaching, uh, coaching, uh, World Championship final yourself. Did you get any of that? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I think I, I think I got the question. Um, of course, personally, racing-wise, it's, it's racing yourself a world final. Uh, but I like how I feel now. The two world titles and how I felt. And you, you saw it on my my iPad on the videos. Uh, those. Yeah, if I look back at that, like I'm proud when I see myself racing, but I know that I took everything out of my career, uh, but there were a lot of people better than than I was. Uh, and I'm really happy with my career, but like the, the job I'm doing now, uh, winning a world championship, uh, I think that means even more, a lot more to me than racing myself a world final. Fair play. It's I know it's different, like for sure. Helping somebody else is that is different than uh, yeah. When you when you win yourself, I think there's more relief. Or like when you achieve something yourself, there's more relief. Whereas when you help somebody else, it's just a different. It's a different feeling, that different sensation. But yeah, I don't know the feeling of winning anything, so I got, don't got that feeling. <laughs> Mate, uh, there, there's nothing like winning. In my, from my experience, anyway, winning. I think I never, I, I've never shied away from the fact that for me, winning or wearing the rainbow jersey was always like my biggest driving force and motivation. And wearing like or winning the rainbow jersey, like <laughs> still now, it's like mind blowing, absolutely mind blowing. Did 
didn't you cramp up after the after you won, Liam? Completely yeah. just locked. Yeah, I don't know why. On such a short track. Yeah, but it was my hands. It was not my body, okay. just in my hands. And literally, I we think like I I had it the following year, and I think um, we started drinking um, we started drinking uh, an energy drink, and and then I I started to get like. Yeah, like cramps and stuff, and we think that it was from that. But I also personally, I just think from like the whole like emotion of it all, like literally cross that line, like feeling like obviously completely normal, and then just like everything coming to like fruition and being like, yeah, you just I don't know, almost like you go into a state of I don't know, just sheer elation. And yeah, my my hands were literally like they're like crab hands. Like I couldn't I couldn't move and I uh, couldn't take my gloves off or anything. It was to be fair, Twan, we haven't we haven't won the world champs in the best style, I don't think. You you with the uh, nose bonk into the second straight and I was across the finish line looking like a crab. <laughs> but, and mate, to be fair to you, Liam, that was after that must have been even more sweet after the season that you had in twenty twelve. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And that was like, I, I've said this a bunch of times, like, I think after the Olympics, you know, like straight away, like Jess had, um, she, she broke the, the world and Olympic record at the, at the Olympics and then got disqualified and then basically got straight back to training, like straight away. And I was like, oh, I'll just keep, you know, I'll keep her company. And, um, and then straight away, like set my sights on, uh, on, trying to do like trying to win the rainbow jersey the following year so yeah it's pretty pretty cool to um for it to come off but great mindset yeah uh, okay. <laughs> when you crossed the line did you have any weird feelings or were you just looking for mj wherever he was no well I, the most weird feelings i had was on the second straight actually like okay <laughs> i did the hardest part now keep it together and um, yeah well could you hear him shouting <laughs> Well, to be honest, I thought coming out of the second turn, they're going to pass me. And then <laughs> nobody, nobody showed up. I was like, <laughs> okay. And then in the last turn, I, I just, I, I knew like, oh, I have it. I win it. And I noticed nobody was there. And I didn't know anything of all the crashing. Didn't know anything of it. No. Down, down the third straight, you didn't know that anyone was near. You didn't know what was going on. No. He, he even he even sprinted to the finish line after the last jump. <laughs> <laughs> it's because yeah. he knew that you was going in. Yeah. Yeah, we funny. set the times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys, listen, we're going to tie up because I'm just conscious of the time. Yeah. Let's tally up your scores. Thank you all. First of all, thanks for coming on. Sean's going to do the thank yous in a moment, but if we could just tally up the scores and uh, Martine, I think you've uh, rimmed the last jump, haven't you, and just not quite made it to the finish. What did you finish on then? Uh, I had 10 points. So Liam will win it again. Swan? <laughs> at seven. Seven you points. gave me one in the first one. I, I wrote the wrong number down. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, did you finish strong as always? 12 on the last round, yeah. Good. 12. So we are going yeah, with... I've had a few beers, I know that. <laughs> Again? I'm definitely better after I've had a few beers. <laughs> <laughs> so, one bronze medal for you tonight, mate. You finished on 19 points. Silver, Martine is your best result to date. You've got to take that and collect it and frame it. you got 24 points in silver. Liam, top spot again, mate. Well done. 27 points. Good. Ran you in the final round, Martin. Really? Uh, just, yeah. uh, just, um, just before we wrap up, like I haven't, I haven't arranged anything for next week, and we, sp I know we spoke about um, maybe trying to get, get. Maybe we should ask the uh, fans. We we were thinking of maybe getting a, or trying anyway to speak to um, Sam and Maris, and trying to get a, a Sam a Sam versus Maris battle. I don't know if Maris would be interested. He'd probably be on the golf course. But if we could, if we could get, you know, could get him back, uh, back battling, that could be pretty funny. Considering I think everybody misses them, uh, them head to heads for sure. That would be a great battle. Yeah, <laughs> I think Sam's got the knowledge for sure. Sam's got a lot of knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I thought MJ yeah. was going to be the one to finally beat you, but three weeks running, we need to find someone special. But what we are doing is we are looking on social media just to find a fan that's been watching the first three weeks, who's been getting good scores, to come and rival one of these guys. Because at the end of the day, look, we can't go through this whole series and Liam win every single round. It can't happen. No, it's true. It's true. Do you want to just tie up, Sean? Do you want to tie up? Say goodbye to everyone. Obviously, talk about the link and yeah. donate. And obviously, all we ask. Look, we appreciate. Donations. We appreciate everyone who keeps logging in, keeps watching this. We are doing it for two reasons: one, to keep you guys entertained, but the second thing to to raise money for Kai. And again, um, the link is on on this uh, live video as well. We will post it again as well on all our social medias: Instagram, Facebook. But. If you're enjoying it, donate something. And uh, we're not asking for millions and thousands or hundreds, even a quid, two quid, dollar, who are watching from anywhere, euros. Now we've got the Dutch guys involved. Just put something in just to get this guy uh, back on his feet. And he is going through a lot of issues at the moment. And these guys know how difficult this is, this BMX world. Um, so we look after each other and that's the main thing. So if you're enjoying it, donate. And we'll see you again next Friday. I'm sure, Liam, you've got something more to say on that. No, I was just going to say I'm, I'm seeing the total go, going up like week by week. And for me, like, I don't know if it's any in any way related to what we're doing. For me, it's like if we're making the smallest contribution, I think it, it's a good thing. Um, there's loads of cool stuff going on, obviously. Guys still doing the 77 for 77 bench challenge. And, um, yeah, I mean, I think... You guys, you guys have spent a lot of time with with Kai, haven't you? And um, you know, he, I know he trained with you a lot, Tuan, leading up to the world. So something that they're, you know, they're passionate about too. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to thank these three guys underneath me as well, the uh, current 2019 world champ and 2020 potentially, who knows, uh, world champ. <laughs> who knows? By default. Who knows? Um, and uh, MJ as well, his coach, but also fourth in the world's 2013. <laughs> and obviously our guy that we can't get rid of because it's three weeks running now, Liam Phillips. So Let me tell you, you Jeff, me and Chris as well. Me so, that I, so we can have a Friday night back chilling yeah. together, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and she has to switch, given our, our state of our internet, she's like, yeah, can't watch anything on the on TV. Can't do this. <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> Liam, it's so funny you should say that. My missus said the same. She goes, "It's like every Friday night I'm in prison. I can't come downstairs. I can't." <laughs> get there. And it's fine. She, she's stolen my mixer. When I go upstairs, I'm like, "Where's my coat? You've nicked my coat from my Jack Daniels. She's fuming. <laughs> you just goes bad. <laughs> right, Twan, we're going to leave, leave the last ones with you, Twan. You're the world champ. Last words to the fans before we lock off this live stream. Well, uh, I hope uh, everybody can uh, can go out and ride uh, ride again really soon. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, we have some races this year. That's, that's that's what we're all waiting for. I think. Good stuff. Leave it at that. Peace yeah. out, everyone. Yeah. Take Cheers, care. Guys. Thanks, guys. Good job. Yeah.